Yo, subbuds. Um, with CPU mining being all the rage right now, uh, I decided to make a video today about how I put together my uh, my CPU rigs, and I'll take you from each step. And uh, today we will. I'll show you how I set up my Zephyr rigs, because I've took all my CPU rigs and I've moved them on to Zephyr because Zephyr is super profitable right now. So yeah, if and if you already have a CPU rig, I would suggest moving to Zephyr. And uh, yeah, so I will show you the rig and, and we'll go through the tutorial on how to start mining. Okay, so here's what we're, here's the board we're setting up uh, today. It's already set up, but I'll go through the steps on how I set up. But um, uh, uh, while setting up this board, uh, I've never set up an AMD board before, but I learned uh, two things. Uh, first off, you have to go to your BIOS and you have to go into your advanced settings and you have to turn off in the Windows OS section in your advanced settings. Uh, turn off secure boot because it won't let you boot into uh, a Linux programs when it, when secure boot is on. And if you're doing this GPU list, uh, turn off VGA detection. And those two things are very, very important. So before you start, if you're doing it on an AMD board, uh, do those two things and you should be good. So for this video, I'm going to be writing the HiveOS image to uh, a 32 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte um, USB drive. And uh, in a, yeah, I'll show you me flashing the OS on there. So we are going to start this like a brand new. So we're going to click this little start up here and we're going to call it, we'll just call it new farm. And we'll save. Yeah, and it's gonna add us either ASICs or rigs, and we're gonna go add rig. Uh, we're gonna connect to existing. Yeah, connect to existing, and yeah, we're gonna download the rig config file here. That's very important. So download rig config, and then now we are gonna download the actual Hive OS. So we're gonna go Hive OS downloads. And we're gonna install Hive OS. And we're gonna go down to GPU here. And then we're gonna download the zip file here. And once that's finished on downloading, I'll take you to the next step. Okay, so now that we have our Hive OS and our rig config, we're gonna open up Belina Etcher. Uh, if you don't have Belina Etcher, download it. It's good for writing uh, uh, flashing OS's and we're gonna select our target USB select one and flash and Okay, now we're flashing and whoa, we're in the future and uh, you can skip this validating you can if you want but I would just skip it and Yeah, and now you'll notice that our hive isn't on here. So what we're gonna need to do is you're literally going to take the USB drive out and then you are going to reinsert it. And then now a uh, hive should show up on the side here. Yep. Clicked in there. Nice. Okay, cool. And then there it is hive. No. Nope. And you want to just exit that and we're going to drag this rig config file onto the hive. And that is a flashed hard drive. Okay, so now we're done flashing. So now let's take this out and let's put it in our rig. So there we go. It's uh, we put the flash drive in our light rig. And underneath this, I have a, uh, a TP link because this board does not have Wi-Fi and I will go over how to get the drivers for TP-Link. But let's boot this up and let's hope that we uh, show up on the Hive. 
So let's just trip the board here. Okay, board's on. And then let's see if we show up in Hive OS. So nice, uh, our rig showed up. Um, but first, first thing I like to do is let's name our rig. So this is gonna be the R7 5700X. And we'll update worker. And then we'll go overview. And we are going to start, um, we're going to re re remote access into the, uh, into the, um, into the actual board itself. And you, that's by clicking this little, uh, icon here. So we're going to go in here and why I'm doing this first is, um, I like to install the, uh, the drivers for my Wi-Fi first. Uh, I don't know what you are, but okay. Um, so we're going to copy and we're going to just paste all of these in. And I've tried a million different uh, drivers to try to get TP-Link to work and this is the only set of commands that is that actually works so uh yeah if if you've ever had that problem uh go to this page nice and after that's all done and good I just like to give the system a nice little reboot. I'm gonna type in Wi-Fi, and then it's gonna bring you up uh, all your Wi-Fi selections. And I'm gonna go with mine, which is number five. And then I don't care if you guys know my password. And yeah, and that's us connected to the Wi-Fi. Be Okay, cool. We're connected to the network. <laughs> Something happened. I don't know what happened. Anyways. So let's uh, disconnect our Ethernet here. And uh, yeah, let's see if we're still connected. Okay, cool. Now we are connected. Okay, and now we are going to make a Zephyr flight sheet. So, um, go to list. Oh, fuck do you make a flight sheet? Oh, add flight sheet. Okay, so we are gonna go Zeph. And we are gonna add my wallet. You can just get this from Zephyr protocol. Or sorry, we're gonna go receive. Yep, my primary account. Uh, copy. Add wallet, paste, Zephyr, create, um, we're going to do mining ocean, and we're in Canada, uh, I'd say, yeah, well, I'd say we have Canada mid-range, we'll apply, we'll select a miner, and we are going to do XM rig new. Create flight sheet. Yep. Okay, now we're going to go to workers. We're going to click this. We're going to go to flight sheet. And we're going to launch. And we're going to go. And we're going to remote access back into our into our uh, into our system and we're gonna go minor and there we go uh, it, XM rig is working and we are hashing.
Okay, it took a second there, but we are actually hashing now. So we are now. So let's, let's go to miningocean.org. Uh, let's go to Zephyr. Uh, worker statistics. And we should be there. Um, we should pop up soon enough. <laughs> this was my old R750 700X, so the new one should pop up anytime. And there we go, it popped up. And we are now mining Zeph. And uh, that's how I set up my CPU rigs. Um, I think a bit of you or some of you may have the question of uh, why am I not mining Varus with my CPU rigs right now? Because clearly, you know, I'm the I'm the poster boy of Varus, but uh, it is more profitable right now to mine Zephyr. And what I am doing is I am mining Zephyr, and then I am trading that Zephyr for Varus. So uh, about all with all my rigs, I make about six dollars a day American, and I trade that in into Varus, and that literally has doubled my Varus. So I make about six or seven dollars with my phones, and then I make six dollars with my um, rigs. So it's super super profitable right now. And yeah, um, if you have any questions, uh, I'm not the best with tech, but uh, I have a Discord, and a, <laughs> you should check it out down below. And a lot, a lot of people down there uh, know what they're talking about. Um, I had a help, some help <laughs> setting up the AMD board initially, so yeah. Um, and all my links to my social media are down below, and my links to my. Uh, my affiliate links are down below. It uh, helps grow this channel. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, it, thanks for watching and uh, I will check you later.